Greetings, I'm David Gann. I'm the CEO of DNY Laboratories. And here at DNY Laboratories, we are the manufacturer and the holder of the trademarks and also the owner of the technology behind a product called Double Helix Water. Now, I'm asked frequently, what is Double Helix Water? What is this water in this little bottle? And there's really no simple one-line answer to that and normally I refer people to this book here which you can find on Amazon or on the internet called Double Helix Water. That's a, a, a complete description of our work but I've realized there needs to be a series of simple little videos which explain exactly what Double Helix Water is. So that's what the purpose of these videos are. So the first thing we got to understand and establish is well, what's this water about? What is Double Helix about? Well, the best answer to that question is it's about you. Uh, your, your body, my body, the people that are filming this today, their bodies, everybody's made out of water. We're made out of about 70% water. Our blood and our lungs are about 90% water. So water makes up the biggest constituent of our, of our body. And it's good to understand that, especially from a fundamental point of view. I'm not talking about some sales line or some buzzword. I'm talking about actually having an understanding of the fundamental of water. And science for many years has considered that water was found in three phases. Uh, a liquid, like glass of water, ice, the solid form of water and steam or a vapor, which is a, which is a vapor basically. Uh, up in the clouds, we have, we have vapor that's water vapor. So those were the known phases. And, but in 1995, my research partner and I, Dr. Xu Yin Lo, we stumbled over a very strange phenomena in water. And we began to look at it. And at that time, there was a microscope that had just uh, it was finally hitting a commercial market. It was called the Atomic Force Microscope. And we found that we could find a particle inside of water. And upon first, we thought it was a form of ice. And in 1995, we published this paper in Physics Letters. And this paper was our first paper that we published. And it, this paper talks about we thought it was an ice. But after many more years, in 2009, after 10, 15 years of research, we published this paper, which is in also in physics letters. And we said, no, it's not ice. It is a, another phase or form of water. It's a solid particle which forms at room temperature. Very, very small, but it's there just in sense. That paper, we made enough of it, you could actually see it. You'd hold it up to the light and you'd say, well, what's this powder on this microscope slide? And you look at it, but then you analyzed it and you went, wow, it's 100% water. So it was another phase or form of water. So why is this important? Well, to truly understand ourselves and understand how the, the body self heals itself, one needs to understand what the basis, the, you know, the biggest part of us is water. So, so water is important to us to have an understanding of how we, as a, as a, a human uh, body, functions. This water is so solely water. It is no contaminants whatsoever in this water. There's no drugs. It's not a curative agent. It is not a drug. It's not meant to cure something or treat a disease. We're talking about water ultra pure water. If you were to go to your local store and buy a gallon of distilled water, you would find that the water inside of this is at least a thousand times to 10,000 times cleaner than that distilled water. So we're, we're talking about water. These video installments are basically just a little educational purposes to teach you about this newly discovered phase of water. Thank you.